Hey guys, Kev here, and I got a package. This is the Winter Blade Co. Factor prototype. The pre-order for these is on Tuesday the 31st, which means I'm probably going to have to finagle some videos so this actually gets up on time because I'm already scheduled out into June. But I'm so excited to try this out. So I'm going to open it with another knife. I recently got a prototype of and I'm super excited about the Renegade Provisions Co. GOM. This one's $350 for a pre-order. This one's going to be $375. So just keep that in mind. They ain't cheap, but it don't matter because they're going to be very popular. So this came by way of NAF Sergeant. Shout out to Mike. Let's take a look. GOM is money, by the way. Highly, highly recommend but let's see what's going on here just look at that just look at that for a minute oh these are dope look at these naf stickers oh i like you pass around info i just want to make sure there's no addresses yep there is okay so please save and pass this sheet around uh, the other extras and the other extras with each shipment transfer. Thanks, guys. Recipients are as follows, and please message me on blah, blah, blah. Uh, Brad, Nav Sergeant, and then me. And then it goes to the Apex group. So I'm going to hand this off to David, Blade Banter, at Blade Show, I think. Here's an info sheet. Uh, make sure that you do not oil the factors M lock or any lock surfaces. Uh, I'll look over this. I don't think there's anything here that I need to read before opening. So <laughs> I'm excited. Put NAF Sergeant stickers away. Shout out to NAF. And let's get into it. <laughs> oh, my God. I've been looking at this. Oh, wow. Okay, hold on. Hold the horses. Really cool case. This thing has just... Oh, this thing has just looked... I don't know small heavy I, I don't know how to put it but it's thin very thin light and um a good size oh it feels like i can reverse like it left-handed and i really want to do it <sighs> oh. Oh my god, what is happening? <laughs> okay, alright. Interesting. So it's a little weird. It's a little weird to hold because this is like a flipper, right? But you gotta like climb down here to be able to poke it. And then you got to make sure your fingers are in the way because if it comes out and, you know, I don't know, you'd have to be in a weird position to get hit. But let's try it left-handed in a more natural position. This is insanely different. And then it has an actual detent. It's magnetic, but it's a detent. So look, there's a little hockey puck in there. That's called the M lock, magnetic lock. And then there's two magnets down there. They must be the detent. Oh, they suck it in, right? There's probably more along the way, but. And then you have this bar that comes out like this. And I don't know what that's for. There, there's obviously an over travel, so you can't go too far, right? And it works without the bar in there. So I don't know. This is literally just, there's a magnet right here on it. So that must lock it in. And I don't know why that comes out. Because then you have sharpened blade right here. So you wouldn't want it to come out. And it is G10, by the way. I've NAF confirmed that. Centering is a little off. We'll have to check the... There's no play or anything. My goodness. It has a very strong, like a good detent. I was worried about that part. That was my biggest concern. So let's go ahead and flip the clip. 
That way I can get the full Monty experience. I think it's going to be a T6. Man, this thing's cool. So they have a carbon fiber lock side, it looks like. I guess you wouldn't even call it a lock side. Um, do I even need to? So hold on. Just leave that there. These are not the same. So this is where I'm trying to be careful. Which screw? Oh, I got to take them all out, right? So. Guessing the longer one. That's actually locking in that bar. So this probably would come out. All right. So this would be your lock side, right? So the clip needs to go over here. So you would take the long screw, I assume, here. Could be wrong. And then take your shorter screws, which are the same. Nope, they're not even the same. What the hell? Yeah, I'm guessing this one's... Oh, I get it. Okay, so this one goes through the clip into the scale. And this one goes just into the scale, so it doesn't need to be as long, I guess, right? seems to work that way now i have a lefty clip matches and now it's a little different because it now i'm not holding the clip huh i feel like the sounds have changed can you fire it by pushing this now, what did that do? Now it just slid up. Now what? I don't think it matters if this is out of place. Like, that's out of place. Nope. So, that's a magnetic lock. And what I don't understand is... Like, can I break it? No. No. I don't feel any way to unlock it. Thumb flick is a little difficult. Let's try it left-handed more. Just a normal, for me, flick. Yeah, you could do it. So I think you would get used to this. It's different, right? It's not like anything else, but it works left-handed for sure. It, you do kind of have to let go of the knife a little bit and kind of pinch. But it's a very comfortable knife, so like... It, I don't feel slippy at all. Like with a Spyderco compression lock, you're like back here trying to squeeze it. But on this, you're holding the whole knife, right? You can just slide. Oh, you could just do that too. Just slide your finger like that. Oh my God. There is, let's just fire it out once. Maybe a little, no, there's nothing. And no side to side. This is probably the coolest thing I've ever handled. Ergonomics, so let's feel that. So it is sort of wide from here to here, right? Um, but it does have a choil. And yeah, I mean, I think it's not the most comfortable knife in the world or anything. Um, but for what I do day to day, cutting open packages and shit like that, this will do just fine. Um, you got an M390 blade with a uh, machine satin on there. I guess that's uh, there's no issue there. Look at this. This thing can come forward while you're doing stuff. So I don't know. You could accidentally poke yourself, but it's not like sharp. Holy shit. So let's look at it from down here and see. Usually the farther away from the pivot you are, the weaker the detent gets. Oh, I just disengaged it. That is not the case. Because it's magnets, I guess. Look at that. Do those... No. Do you see that? Okay, hold on. Inside there. So you have those two magnets 
that are pulling the blade in, right? I assume. You have those. What are those? And it looked like they kind of clamped down. Oh, I can pull this out. Let's see. Can we? Oh, sorry. No, they're not moving. Okay. So those, those things are not moving in there. Uh, this is crazy. So you're literally just pushing the blade out. Like, that's what you're doing, right? That's all you're doing with this. Is It's like a flipper tab in the sense that it pulls the blade out. Uh, okay. So, one thing I would say is it would be cool if they included an extra screw for right here. Because I kind of hate when there's just like that one random screw that's not screwed in. Uh, I know that's sort of a personal thing, but um, my concern was twofold. One, it wouldn't work left-handed because it's, you know, this thing um, is over here. And, you know, it would be cool if it was on both sides, but I kind of get why it can't be. Because it's not a bar lock, it's a mag lock. Oh, God. Did you see that? Okay. So what's happening is, yeah, okay, so it's really easy to disengage. So hold on. If you, like, just pull that down a little bit, let's see if I can demonstrate. It's already, oh, oh, there it goes. And it, it's not quite all the way down. Yeah, it's already coming down, I think. My finger is right there on it. So I'm sometimes I'm accidentally ow god damn <laughs> just poke myself in the finger. What am I doing? Yeah, I'm just too close that that lock is right here. So I kind of wish it was recessed or something. Like, is there a way to recess that down? But then it would be harder to use, I guess. So right-handed, you have no problem, right? You're good. Um, I would worry a little bit as a lefty if you're using the knife that you disengage the lock, right? Like, right there I'm doing it, but I mean, I'm really trying. If you're holding it like this, you're kind of locked into a choil. So let's say it disengages, right? you're locked into a choil, like you can't really, you can't really close on yourself badly, you know? Um, so I would always recommend using the choke up grip if you're left handed, but I guess if you're back here, you're not gonna be over the, the other thing is it like flies down, right? So when it disengages, it comes down. So you need to be careful that you're not in the way. But what I was doing is flicking and then when I go to manipulate the knife and move my hand, I'm accidentally hitting it and firing it uh, or enclosing it. So you're almost safer left-handed just using the actual firing mechanism instead of using the um, flick, but I wanna flick the knife. But it seems like that could be an issue. So I would recommend, <laughs> here we go. I would recommend as a lefty that you, you kind of rest up here on the pivot. So you kind of like put your finger up here. See how it's away from the lock. It's up here. And then flick it out. And then you can adjust. And then you can get into the grip. So you're not going to risk doing what I was doing where I'm resting right on top of it. And right there, it didn't even lock up. So that's what's happening is I wasn't even letting it lock up probably. Now that it's locked up. Yeah, see, it's a lot harder for me to accidentally... There we go. Um, so you got to just be be mindful and not have your finger resting across the bar, uh, the mag lock, or whatever it's called. So I know that's dumb, but, um, you know, if you're left-handed, you guys saw there, I had some issues. But you can see if you want to operate it, you can do it pretty easily, um, and it's not a danger or anything, so... Uh, but some of us lefties are very clumsy like me and you have issues, but look at this. I mean, it works. <laughs> I mean, it works almost better left-handed. 
Because right-handed, you got to do this. You got to flick and then adjust, swipe, flick, adjust, drop, right. I guess you could get good at this and make sure you get your fingers out of the way. But left-handed there, I can just flick and pull, flick and pull, flick and pull, flick and pull. Oh, my God, I love this. I love it. Brian. So, shout out to Brian Winters. Uh, I don't know if I said this. This is the Winter Blade Co. Factor. Uh, I am in love. Um, the GOM that I was showing off is fantastic. Uh, it really is. I love this knife. Um, obviously, I'm a sheep's footy, Warren Cliff type of guy. If you can't tell. Is this magnetizing or something? No. Um, then you have my knife, the Stout, or me and Colin. I'm currently um putting some mineral oil on the scales but you can see just a sheep's foot guy right so it fits right in to that uh, but yet it's so different oh my god i did it again though didn't i or no i'm just gonna it's gonna take a little bit of time to learn to just ride my finger up here i think once you do it like once you learn it's fine can you unlock and then relock while it's... Yes, you can. So you can... And it'll go back into place. But if you shift it all, it won't. Got it. Um, I'd be curious to hear how many pounds of whatever this lock can take. Um, because I don't know, is it fully magnetized? Like, is there anything that gets, like, seated into place? Like, how does the lock work? Let's see. Is it just locking up to a magnetic flat part, like right there? Is that what it's doing? Uh, let's see if I can pull this out and take a look. Ah, oh, you can't see under there. Because why? That's your stop pin? Or is that part of the lock? I don't know. I'm looking at the puck through the camera here. And then it slides up onto that piece. It's definitely magnetic because it's pulling to the steel, but I don't see how it could be that strong, but it's maybe it slides up and then because of this plate, it's somehow locked, it's pinched into a position. Yeah, I think that's what it is. It's kind of pinched between the tang of the blade and this back piece. And then when you pull it down, you're removing that step, you're removing that pinch or whatever pressure. So it's not just magnetism. I think it's also um, other stuff. So you can't whip it out though, right? There's no like, it's not like an access lock where you can use the lock to disengage. See what I mean? It's kind of weird that you can move the lock around and then it's fine. Like there's no... It's just so cool and unique. Um, sorry, backing out. Let me put these away. I just wanted to show you. These are some awesome knives that um, came out this year. Obviously, this one's my design, my company, so I'm going to say that. But I believe it's a great knife. The GOM is a great pre-order that's coming as well. This is just fully unique. Like, there's nothing like this, you know? And that, to me, is what makes it that much more intriguing and the action on this i mean it's ridiculous um oh my god it's just so fun all right let's take a look at the blade winter blade co m390 that's it factor i like that he's got a very uh 80s vibe to me um and i like it and there's nine versions of this available they're gonna drop on tuesday um i may actually just wait to post the video till normal schedule because they're gonna sell out anyway I, it really doesn't matter um so you may see this after the uh pre-order is over um hopefully that's cool with brian and um yeah holy cow I'm definitely going to try to get one. It's $375. Um, so it's not cheap, but it is titanium, M390, carbon fiber, and then it's a very much R&D process. He, these are made by Best Tech, 
and he had to get them to understand this design and be able to uh mass produce it that's impressive like really impressive and he has so many other designs out there for different things uh different types of knives different other things um it's very unique so i'm gonna carry this for a few days i'm gonna do a full review then i'm gonna bring it to blade show and i'm gonna hand it off to uh blade banter hopefully right after i secure my own uh from brian on the drop because i'm gonna be itchy trigger finger that day um there's nine versions and i think 200 pieces so you tell me how many that is of each version that's like what 19 of each version or um i don't, I don't think my math was right there but it was close um maybe like 22 of each version 23 of each version um so they're gonna go really fast and uh, I don't know what to do about that. Pick a ugly version. Like, pick the version I think people will buy the least and shoot for that one, you know? Because that way, you got a chance to get it. Even if it's not your favorite color, um, you might actually get one, you know? This is one of those to me. The blue with the green, it's not really my thing. Um, but I do like it. It's very addicting. I can't help it. Um... The D10 is interesting. It's almost... Oh, if I climb down here to the bottom of the hole, I am underneath the lock. Well, I can still do this, but I can climb down. Okay. <laughs> Look at that. Index finger. <laughs> Ring finger. Let's try it. Ring finger. Pinky? pinky thumb thumb oh my goodness and then <laughs> yeah this thing's on another planet guys uh this is a fidget machine so it's also gonna cut you know um which is good it's just tinging all right i'm done um i'm gonna carry it i'm gonna use it i'm gonna see how it does with my magnetic fidgets because there's you know magnets in all of these things um yeah, there you go. It's magnetized. Um, oh, man. I keep hearing that weird noise because it's me catching that puck. Maybe if I just... Yeah. Oh, whoa. That's what I'm worried about is like it just coming down on my finger or something because I'm being an idiot. So, only downside. I kind of wish there was lefty versions now, but... It works really well right-handed, so I could always just rock it right-handed most of the time. And then when I want to, go lefty. So, for those people who say it's ambidextrous, yes, it is. Um, but it is a little bit of an issue because you can cut your finger off. <laughs> so... Um, I don't know. I wouldn't consider it an issue. I'd consider it very ambidextrous because of the clip. You know, it's easy to manipulate left-handed. And it might just be my fingers. This tends to happen to me a lot. I think because I have, like, average size hands, my fingers just land right near the lock or plunge or whatever it is um, on the knife. Not, I just mean in general. Like, button locks, I always have issues when you can reverse flick a button lock because I'm up near the button. And I'll push it, and then I'll, like ruin the detent right so just a matter of paying attention i think which i don't always do when i'm fidgeting so we'll see but uh yeah that's the winter blade co factor unboxing um i'll probably do a full review but i basically just freaking went on and on and on about it um it's like everybody says it's unique it's fantastic um it's gonna sell really well and uh if you don't get in on the drop tuesday he also has a pre-order opening that day and you can sign up and i think he's just opening it up to however many get ordered are gonna get ordered um so it will probably take six seven months to get them but at least you'll be guaranteed one so i think that's how it's gonna work um but yeah i love you guys thank you brian i truly appreciate you letting me check this out um, ever since I saw it, I wanted to try it and, um, just grateful I was able to.
give it a shot. So I love you guys. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day and I will catch you later. All right, guys, quick update on this. I carried it uh, for the night. It's still the same day I unboxed it. And guess what? It's the best knife ever. I, I like not, I don't know. I don't know if it's the best knife ever, but it's fucking amazing guys. Um, yes, left-handed, you can have issues if you're on the lock. We've noticed that, right? Like, watch this. It's pretty cool. <laughs> I had it in a rhythm where I could just, yeah, there you go. <laughs> pretty cool, right? Uh, anyway, what you got to do as a lefty is just ride up here. And we talked about this in the unboxing, but you just go up above the lock, boom, up above the lock. And it's honestly easier to disengage than it is right hand. You just slide your finger down, but see what happens. Um, so you just got to be careful with it. Um, and, you know, don't keep your fingers in the path when you're flicking it. Just be careful. So, uh, yeah, I love it. It carries really well left-handed. Yeah, it's a little taller than most knives um, that I normally carry, but I don't think that's a huge issue. Um, I would get used to it real fast and I don't carry a bunch of shit in that pocket where it matters and it's not like sharp anywhere that causes issues. Like you're not going to have issues. I don't think you could accident. I mean, yeah, you could push this and accidentally deploy it, but I don't think it's going to go anywhere, right? It's just going to bank off your pants and close again because the magnets are so good. Right. So, uh, yeah, it's fire and, uh, I'll be getting one on Tuesday, hopefully, um, I'm going to do whatever I can to get the one I want. So see what happens. But, uh, if you're going to blade show, I don't know if this will post before then, but hopefully it does. Uh, it probably won't. But, uh, if you're going to blade show, hopefully you ran into me and, uh, you got to check this out. Uh, or if I had already handed it to blade banter, maybe he'll have it at the QSP booth, but, uh, either way, Maybe you got a chance to check it out, but you may have already got yours by now. So that's cool too. I love you guys. Have a great day. Peace.